Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at an automatic dusk to dawn light bulb from Firefly. The idea of this is that you'll put it outside, maybe in a driveway or a front porch or at the back of your property, and whenever it gets dark, this bulb will automatically turn on, and then when the sun rises in the morning, it will turn off. Now you might be thinking, I've seen dusk to dawn light bulbs, I know everything there is to know. Well this one's a little bit different, so just wait and see. Now let me bring this closer to the camera so you can have an idea of how this bulb looks. So it looks like a standard E27 screw in bulb, but you can see there's a window on either side, a small window. And when I first plugged this in I was surprised. Now ordinarily this would screw into a normal light fixture, but since I'm doing this here on video, I'm going to use this little AC adapter to plug the bulb straight in. So I screwed it in and it turned on and I thought well that's strange because not only do I have my normal light but I also have video lights on so it's very bright in here. So why is this bulb coming on? Why doesn't this bulb realize that it's daytime? Why is it still turning on? So I looked at the box thinking maybe there's some kind of training period or something like that and there is a note on here and it says not recommended for indoor use as light will always remain on when it does not sense light from the sun. So I thought to myself well what's the difference between the sun and the lights that I have here? And the first thing that came to mind is infrared. The sun puts out a lot of infrared. Well I mean the sun actually has a very wide spectrum of light but one of the biggest differences that came to mind straight away is infrared. So I went and grabbed my TV remote and watch what happens if I point the remote at this and press a button. See it's turning on and off, it's blinking. So it's infrared light, that's what it's looking for. And that's the difference between the sun and the lighting that I have here. Now I'm using LED bulbs and maybe they put off a little bit of infrared, but it's very minimal. Now you might be thinking, well, why is it not just staying off? Why is it turning on, off, on, off really fast? Well, that's just the way that these TV remotes work. They send the same pulse over and over again for as long as you hold the button. So it's receiving the infrared and then thinking it's daytime and turning off, but then this stops sending signals, so that's why we got the blinking effect. Now I can trick it with this flashlight. Um, this does put off a little bit of infrared, and if we get it really close to the sensor, you can see the bulb turns off. So I don't know whether to be impressed or disappointed. I've had other dusk to dawn lights before and I've had adapters that will convert any existing light to be a dusk to dawn light. And traditionally they have a light dependent resistor inside so it measures how much light is hitting it and then it decides whether to turn on or off. Whereas this one is very specific it will only work with the sun. Now, they say not recommended for indoor use. I think you would still use it indoors, but it would need to be near a window that can pick up the sunlight. Now, if you're wondering, well, why would I use this bulb at all? Well, the idea is that, let's say you put it in your driveway or on your front porch, it will turn on automatically when it gets dark. So even if you're away on holiday, the bulb will still turn on every night. And it will be a different time each night because, you know, the sun doesn't go down at, you know, the exact minute every day. So anyone who might be looking at your property will think, well, there must be someone there because they're turning the light on and off every day. Now, aside from that, let's say you are at the property. Well, it can still be useful to have a light that turns on automatically and turns off automatically every night. Because, you know, let's say someone's skulking around outside looking for places to rob, they're less likely to go to a well-lit place because they're more likely to be seen. And if there's cameras, they're more likely to, you know, be identified. So that's, you know, the typical use of this kind of light. And of course, the nice thing is that you you can just replace your existing bulb with this one. You don't have to replace any of the wiring, you don't have to do an external sensor. Um, for example, I know a lot of people buy these little sensor boxes that you can then wire in with a floodlight or something like that, or you can just use this one. And if you're curious, it consumes 5 watts. So it's not the brightest bulb, it's not the dimmest bulb, it is LED. So of course, you know, if you compare this to an incandescent bulb which consumes so much power, this is going to be much more efficient for the amount of light that it produces. Um, I know some people will ask about the lumen so let me check according to this 520 lumens now I think it's just about right because a 10 to 15 watt bulb again it depends on the size of the area that you want to light up but the higher wattage bulbs they really produce so much light and it seems a little bit wasteful when they're going to be running all night I personally think that for most people 5 watts is going to be about right so that was just a quick look at this bulb from Firefly this was one of the bulbs that they sent over to me as a Christmas gift and I thought I'd share it here on the channel so if you have any questions put them in the comments section down below and if you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching